Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, Eric Coffin. I'm speaking to you from the May 2018 Metals Investor Forum, a conference that my partner Scott uh, Gibson and I own. Uh, I'm here today with uh, Mike Gunning. He's the CEO of a company called VR Resources. Uh, VR is a company that I follow in the newsletter, as are all of the companies that are at this show. Um, VR is a very, it's a very interesting deal. I mean, Mike has a, a kind of mindset that I really like. I mean, you're not, you're not going to try to do incremental this or that no. on, on some old resource. You're all about finding something new. And you've assembled a really interesting set of projects in Nevada. And right now, you're, the first one you're drilling as we speak. You just started drilling like a week ago, Last right? week, yeah. And yeah, no. Now, right. can you give us just a quick thumbnail on that project? Because really, Bonita, which is the project that's being drilled right now, that one, I, I think you can fairly say that one's all about scale, like it's, it's target about size. scale. It is, yeah. I mean, Bonita was the project that we IPO'd the company on. We'd been working privately for three or four years, trying to understand, in a way, like you say, taking new ideas into an old district. There's a long history of copper exploration in the U.S., but it was mostly the 50s and 60s. And come 1980, that copper movement went to South America. So we IPO'd on the idea that after three years, this is a very large alkaline porphyry copper system. It's the same age as Yarrington. Copper endowment at Yarrington is huge um, in four large deposits. But the difference with Bonita is it has gold because it's alkaline. So I'm just back from Nevada last week. Uh, we, we collared the hole on, I think, May the 17th. And the guidance to the market is after three years of surface work and the, the, the first pastoral program last fall. Um, the excitement of Benita is both the scale of that hydrothermal system at about, I don't know, 10 by 10 kilometers. And you can map that and see it in five or six different ways. And this work and the drilling last fall is getting us into these, what we think are breccia pipe targets that are in the scale of about a thousand kilometers, a thousand meters in diameter. Right. So you're looking at very large targets within a very large system. And you're in an area where we can turn around a drill permit in 20 days. The idea for VR is to make the kind of discovery that makes a meaningful impact on our shareholders and also a discovery that the copper mining industry wants. And it's about scale and it's about jurisdiction and Benita has that. And I should point out too that these these two targets and you're drilling two targets right now with this program, these are both essentially blind targets. I mean these these are not this isn't something anyone's ever looked at or drilled before. Right. I mean you just you basically just generated these targets more or less in the last year right. or so, right? We had a cliche, I cut my teeth in Kamenko along with my chairman Darren Wagner and we had a, a saying that went you don't take old ideas into an old district and make new discoveries. You need to come in with new ideas. Part of that is the technology that we've done in exploration. Part of it is, like you say, understanding that the workings on the ridges, the historic workings, are in the alteration system. And we're looking at pipes that are covered. Uh, Benita's never had modern systematic porphyry exploration. And the second point, especially, is that these targets for the breccia pipes are undercover and have never even had historic prospecting. They're, you don't have the tools in 1930. You don't have airborne resistivity. You don't understand Olympic Dam the way we do now. Right. So VR is trying to say to itself, what can we do that anaconda mining was not doing in 1960 or a prospector in the hills in 1920? And that is really the basis for the name of my company. Right. And it's the way I want us to work. What is the basis, VR? VR, uh, long story short, is named after uh, a world-famous ski made in the 1970s that was cutting edge for technology, cutting edge for performance, cutting edge for marketing. It was a ski that changed the ski industry. Okay. And if you were like Mike Gunning when you were, when you were 10, <coughs> that was the ski you wanted. Okay. And I want VR to show that kind of leadership, both in not following trends, but actually trying to set trends. Benita is not where it's supposed to be. It's outside of the box in terms of these Jurassic porphyries. I want us to be using technology that is new and innovative. Uh, that ski was one of the first composite material skis ever made. Okay. The world of skiing had been wood. 
Right. VR is not going down to Bonita to use old wooden ash skis. Okay. And um, so it sounds trivial, but it isn't. That ski represents something that is what I call leadership and value. And, and I hate the cliche game changer, but it was. Mm. And I think Bonita has the opportunity to remind the market and remind the mining industry that if you are innovative, you can go into the Western US as a, as a world famous copper resource jurisdiction and actually make new discoveries. So that's what we're gonna try and do with this drill program. And just to, before we finish off here, I mean, you're drilling at Bonita, but I do wanna mention Junction because you're also busy there. Yeah. That's another project that I think, I think you surprised yourself at that one. I mean, it's really turned into something different from what you thought it was originally. You're right, Eric. We, we acquired Junction because we were busy on the ground. We were demonstrating an interest to actually do exploration. We had a submittal for some unusual uh, copper showings. And after a year of just getting your hands dirty and spending time on the ground, it goes from an acquisition that demonstrates diversity for the company, which is, which is good, to an opportunity where you all, all of a sudden have 6,000 meters of more or less continuous copper, silver, gold veins in a high temperature mesothermal system in Nevada, near a highway, at surface, and our guidance on Junction, almost surprisingly to myself, is that we will probably be doing the first pass drill test on Junction this calendar year. Mm -hmm. We've just completed an airborne survey. And really what we want to know, Eric, is where along that 6,000 meters do you think you have your best chance of getting a down dip continuation of boronite, covalite, calcasite with argentite that is giving you, you know, 10% copper and 200 gram silver at surface. Yeah. So it has become something that in the world of exploration um, could be the front runner for this company. But it's what I want to demonstrate to the market is to understand the scale of Bonita, understand the grade potential at Junction. They create value different ways. Right. And I want VR to be smart enough to understand we're opportunity driven for value creation through discovery. and. These are two very different properties that I think now we want investors thinking that they are investing in a company with a strategy. Mm -hmm. They may have the Benita drill program in the front of their mind. They may have the copper silver grades in the front of their mind at Junction, but at the end of the day, like that ski, you're investing in something that is demonstrating hopefully leadership and performance. It's a, it's a great story. I mean, that's the reason why I started following the newsletter. It's the reason why I owned it, bought the last placement, happily, happy that I did. Uh, you know, Mike has assembled three or four projects. They're all very interesting. Um, and it is what I find fascinating about them. And it shows you the sort of the technical skills behind the company that you come up with three or four projects that are essentially new, not repackaged things. And all of them with a couple of phases of work have become extremely interesting looking targets. One scale, one's grade, and the gold project at Danbo, again, uh, classic epithermal, you know, if, you, if you're looking at a textbook of, you know, what does the top and the bottom of these things look like, and you're looking at your sampling through the valley, it's, you're right. it's right out of a geology textbook. And in some ways, that project that we talk about the least, Danbo, and now this Kraut, which we're renaming 29 Mine, you know, talk about being in the right ballpark, you've got uh, the giant round mountain low sulfidation system 40 kilometers away and you've got the famously profitable Paradise Peak um, high sulfidation operation. Uh, tertiary epithermal gold, rhyolite hosted and this, this gold project is in that ballpark. And again, it's just an example of VR showing um, project generators and vendors and prospectors that Darren Wagner and Mike Gunning are doing this because we've done this our whole life. Mm -hmm. um, we're interested in discovery. We've been trained in that early stage exploration. And that is a, a gold project that's at the end of the road. Mm -hmm. It's in the monitor range, but for us, we can drive there. It's virtually unexplored in the last 30 years in terms of uh, diamond drilling. And I can see why it's been missed. It's tough to get to. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll do a lot of reconnaissance mapping and sampling to tie these two properties together. And <coughs> I agree, Eric, that is in one of the 
world's great epithermal gold districts. And so that is in the foundation of, of VR, and we won't talk about it much this year, but we're on the ground, we're flying airborne surveys, and I think you'll hear more about that uh, in 2019. Okay, well, as you can see, great, great story, great set of projects, serial exploration going on, lots of news flow, very well structured. Uh, I think you're gonna have a great year. Thanks for coming by, Mike. Thanks for the time, Eric, and thanks for the invite to the conference. As always, happy to do it.